You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Wet roads out there today. This is what drivers were dealing with this afternoon on Interstate 5 in Redding. And this is a look over Oroville this afternoon. Cold, windy, and wet conditions there too. But have we seen the worst of this system yet? Brianda Lee Moose is here now with your forecast. So, Brianda, are we expecting rain throughout the evening as well? We are expecting rain throughout the evening. It's around 8 is when most of the valley will be hit with heavy rain. So definitely keep an eye out for that. If you are heading out this evening, make sure to drive safe. If you do not need to head out to the roads, it's better that we stay inside. Now we'll take a look with all this rain. We'll take a look at the rain in the last hours that certain cities got. We have Blake Butte Lake at 1 inch and 57. Sacramento National Wildlife Refugee 1.41. Corning with a little bit over an inch along with Cohasset and we have Red Bluff, Reading Airport and Oroville Airport all under one inch. So we still see quite some rain coming in throughout the rest of the afternoon. Now we do have a lot of alerts still in place now heading into Monday and Tuesday. We start with our first winter storm that's for those in the northern mountains in the Sierra Cascades. If you are maybe planning to drive up into those areas, make sure to carry chains and definitely give yourself enough time to carry snacks, flashlights and blankets as well. Now we'd still have that flood watch from today into Tuesday and we see a lot of rain this afternoon and also overnight as well. Along with wind alerts, winds are expected to be up to 30 to 45 miles per hour, gust wind at 60 miles per hour. So if you have a little little items in your backyard that could possibly fly away and cause some damage. Make sure to keep an eye out for that and probably tie them down along as well. Now, what we can expect for the next couple of hours, this is Sunday 7 p.m. As you can see, most of the valley is still seeing the yellow and the orange, which means heavy rain and heading into overnight as well. It's around 8 p.m. Sunday where we still see some rain coming in. This is your future cats for Monday morning as we start a new week. We do see a little bit of dryness. We still see some clouds overhead, but some areas like the northern mountains, north of Redding, and then the Sierra and Cascades will still see some snow as well. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Give yourself enough time if you are heading out over the next couple of hours. So for now, our wind speeds, we do have Oroville at 26 miles per hour, which is quite strong. We have Redding at 13 and then other areas still not as strong, but definitely could be picking up in the next couple of hours, which means we have that wind advisory as well. Now, this is your forecast for tomorrow. We do see some rain on Monday heading into on Tuesday. We see some showers on Wednesday and Thursday, along with other areas. We do see a little bit of clearness on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those showers icons are wrong, but temperatures are still staying in those upper 50s to low 50s as well. For those in Reading, still some rain on a Monday. We see a little bit of showers on Tuesday. We see possibly a little clear up on Wednesday and possibly those showers coming back on Thursday and Friday. And remember, although we do see the rain coming in through the next couple of hours, give yourself enough time to drive very, very careful as we did see quite some heavy rain in the Mid Valley this past hour, but definitely cleared up for a little bit but we are still seeing some rain for the next couple of hours and that I'll send it back to you.